Ukrainian units again used drones to attack Moscow. One drone was grounded by EW means near the village of Pokrovskoye. Another was shot down over the Istra district. Two people were injured when the wreckage fell. Another drone hit Sheikhovka Air Base in the Kaluga region. The drone was intercepted over the territory of the facility. According to preliminary data, no damage or casualties were reported. Belgorod region was also massively raided by Ukrainian drones. One of the drones dropped shells on Novostroyevka Vutoraya. Other UAVs were neutralized by air defense units. In the Kupyansk sector, fierce fighting continues in the vicinity of Sinkivka and in the settlements to the east of it. Despite statements by some sources about the liberation of the village, part of the locality continues to be controlled by the AFU. On the southern flank of the Bakhmut defense, enemy assault groups attempted to attack the Russian positions near Andreevka. The enemy moving towards the railroad embankment was spotted and destroyed by targeted artillery strikes. Ukrainian units continue to use cluster munitions against the civilian population of Donbas. Residential buildings and infrastructure facilities in Donetsk came under attack. One person was wounded. In the Orykiv sector, AFU units managed to break through to the center of Robotyne at the cost of significant losses. Russian forces, supported by artillery, are attempting to push the enemy back to their original lines. To the west, Ukrainian units are carrying out disturbing sabotage sorties near Piatikatki. Russian forces promptly suppress them, preventing the enemy from seizing the initiative in the area. In the Kherson direction, Russian troops systematically counter AFU landing groups in the Dnipro Delta. At the same time, they are firing at ammunition depots and AFU firing points on the opposite side of the river.